All right, somehow I forgot to start the recording, but now it's getting recorded. So let's get started with today's session. I would request you, uh, Goresh, to type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session. It was purely, I believe, your uh, questions related to your website creation part, which was being covered across by me in the last pre in the last session, right? Also, with regards to the paid ads, we have. Uh, uh, I mean, I, you had questions, and I've covered that. So there was. That was what we covered in the previous session. It's just a review. Any questions, any doubts you have, Goresh, feel free to put that across in the chat window. And Shivani, since this is your first session, you can also ask me whatever questions, doubts, and queries you have. I know uh, you are here. Okay, it's all clear, Goresh. All right, perfect. Whatever question, whatever questions, whatever queries you have, you can uh, type that across at any given point of time. I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the Facebook promotion aspect. Okay. So I'm opening across Facebook. Now, Facebook, as we, as we all know, is the number one social media marketing website. We have covered in detail that what exactly social media sites are in the, in the previous sessions. We did understood that social media sites are primarily used across for the purpose of connecting across with people whom we know, our friends, family, colleagues, and so forth. Plus, uh, you know, the other thing is uh, the marketers get across an opportunity to connect with their targeted audience on these platforms, the social media and so forth. And if you talk about social media websites in totality, there are several social media sites. Facebook is the topmost, the king in it, uh, in the entire social media space. And how do we really define uh, which social media site is, uh, is number one or number two? It's on the basis of the subscribers the number of subscribers plus also the time spent on the website so Facebook leads in altogether all of those okay so with that being said let's all right so with that being said let's move further guys so with regards to Facebook marketing Facebook is the number one is the first and the foremost social media website which we are taking right now. Now there are ways to go ahead and promote across your product in the Facebook space uh, through paid and the unpaid way both. We'll start with the unpaid one. And if, if I talk about unpaid, excuse me, the brands, the marketers have been given across an opportunity by Facebook to create across their own Facebook page, which is pretty obvious kind of a thing, pretty, pretty uh, basic thing, which everybody is aware of, right? With that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and showcase you what do we mean by a Facebook page and how do we really create across a Facebook page? What are the different elements of a Facebook page and so forth? Okay. Give me Now, whenever we're using across Facebook as a <clears throat> as a normal Facebook user, whenever we are onto Facebook, what we can do is we can do multiple things. We can add in people whom we know as a friend, right? And we get across, we get to know in the newsfeed section. Newsfeed section is the home page, basically. In the home page, we get to see, uh, you know, the different various different uh, updates. Uh, from people who are connected with us right now not just those people who are connected with us their profile status updates we get to see even the brands which we like all right uh, we get their updates also so let's say I am a fan of a specific brand let me take across a very uh, easy example uh, not from the digital marketing industry Let's say I'm a fan of Toyota, all right? Toyota is an automobile brand. What I would do, I will go ahead and type in Toyota maybe somewhere or the other. Since this brand is pretty uh, close to my heart, I like this. I, I can go ahead and like their brand page. This is the brand page. As you can see, Toyota has done it wonderfully with regards to promoting their brand onto Facebook, why, I mean, why I'm saying the word wonderfully, I mean, they've got Toyota India as one of their Facebook page. And then similarly, the UK one is separate, Japan, Pakistan. I mean, they have got their own uh, 
various different pages segmented through their segmented through the geographical location plus they have got different uh, pages segmented also from the product aspect like toyota chr is one of their uh, product plus uh, toyota fortuner or toyota etios toyota vigo you know these are so there are separate several pages brand pages which toyota has come up with and they are segmented on the basis of geographical thing plus also from the perspective of the product this is one great strategy to do that across now if i like this product i can go ahead as an internet user i i would like to i, I would like i would like that page and why would somebody like a page a brand's page because he or she likes that particular product and wants to get updated now if we try to see from the point of view of a brand or a marketer a marketer is going to achieve a lot of eyeballs through this particular platform which is uh, you know the facebook page now whosoever is their targeted targeted audience to the toyota's targeted audience they will like them to get in touch with them on facebook as well along with other touch points you know there are various touch points for uh, different brands maybe at the point of sale maybe at um, and at several maybe at a marketing space or uh, you know maybe at a marketing event or maybe some other places on the online space definitely optimizing the website is one getting across online paid ads the banner ads the video ads is also one but having presence on to social media is other thing social media on and that too on facebook is one more building block basically it helps in 360 degree marketing totality now when it comes down to creation of a facebook page i'll go ahead and take you through that entire process we'll try start from the beginning okay from the basics of how to create across a page like this for a product or a brand of ours for a brand of ours basically and what all different features as a marketer should we really keep in mind for the creation of this kind of a page okay you know uh, there are various tools which are available for creating across such kind of images whether it's a, a profile image this is a profile image this is a cover pic image there are various images which are needed across for the creation for the post this is a facebook post basically you can see a very great uh, image is being created right over here and there are videos being inserted some more text uh, and links of different for the websites are being posted over here so how do we create across these uh, great looking images also there are certain tools for that which i'll also show you so in order to create across a facebook business page what you have to do is you have to first of all log into your personal profile you can can you can do both the things you can have your own personal profile being used for this purpose or you can even have a corporate facebook account a separate facebook account uh, dedicated for that as of now i'm showing it from a personal facebook profile which is pretty easy what you need is your own facebook profile to get started with facebook page creation once you're logged into your account you can click onto this drop down arrow button all right click right over here and you'll see several options create pages create group create adverts we'll see the paid part also when we'll get on to the create adverts section so we are starting with create page let's click onto that excuse me <clears throat> now here are so several options no problem bana yeah. no problem chitana we have just got started with the facebook part i'm sorry all right so these this is the first screen which you will see when it comes down to creating a facebook page okay so this is the first screen when you when you have decided to create a class of facebook page i'm repeating again chitana so that you are able to get that across again in order to create across a facebook business page you have to click onto this drop down arrow button and then use this option which is called create page the moment you want to click onto this this page is going to come up now you have to decide what is the business all about what is the brand all about for which you are trying to create across a page okay 
now uh, it's it's upon you what sort of a page are you right uh, are you going to be looking at is it a brand or a product company or an organization is it a local business is, are you an artist band or a public figure are you there in uh, is is uh, is your brand all about in the entertainment industry or this is a page uh, which is promoting across a certain cause or a community or so forth? That's something which you have to decide. Now, let's say my, the option which I'm choosing in is low-key business. Any specific example you want me to take, I can take that. Else I'm picking and choosing a hypothetical business over here. I can type in, let's say, digital marketing training by Nick. So, I mean, this is just a hypothetical name, which I've taken across. I can mention across the street address. All right. Now I'm, I have picked up the local business. Uh, it's, it's up to you, whatever option you want to, you want to use across company organization or institution, you can do that too also. All right. And So I'm typing in across the details. So that's my address. And now these are pretty basic things. Uh, okay, the category, please choose a category. It's right up over here. It's advertising and marketing. And it says phone number is not valid. Maybe I need these country court we entered. All right. Let me try it this way. Strange. Why is it not picking up my phone number? All right, so here we go. Now the page has been created across. Page is different absolutely from a profile. Now, profile is of an individual, all right? So Chitana, you have your own profile. I have my own profile. Everybody has got their own profile. We use across our profile in order to connect with friends, in order to uh, like various different brand pages and so forth. The page which we are creating over here is different to a profile. Page is primarily used for the business purpose, for the commercial purpose only. And we create this just to go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, do the commercial stuff. If it comes down to, if we, if we try to promote across our uh, product or brand through a personal profile, we cannot do that. Facebook won't let us do that. Facebook won't even allow us to create a profile uh, which is on our brand name. Facebook says an, an identity, an individual person can only create across a profile. That's what. So what I did, I logged into my personal profile and within my personal profile, I got this option by clicking on the drop down arrow button, which said create a page, right? So this is my personal profile and I'm, I've clicked on to create a page. So this is my dad's Facebook profile. That's I'm using that across right now. Okay. So this is the page which has been created across and this is in very much in the raw stage. And uh, there are several things which can be done over here, which we're going to talk about one after another. As you can see, there is a picture uh, which needs to be added on over here, the cover pic and also the, first, the profile pic and so forth. Right, so guys, just give me one second. I think uh, there's some trouble here with the recording. I have to make sure that the session gets recorded perfectly. You just have to give me one second. All right, just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to be done with this. Mm.
All right, it's been done. So I'm just gonna open across my Facebook page again. So this is the Facebook page which was being created and it's automatically saying, these are the steps which you need to really do. You need to add a cover photograph, you need to add a profile picture, a short description about what the page is all about, plus create across a username for your page and so forth. Now, I am going to be quick in terms of the tool which you can use for creation of this, these uh, images like, one of the most renowned tool which various different social media marketers use across in the industry guys is canva.com. All right, I'll just go ahead and log into this one. There are various tools which you'll find on the internet space, which will help you to design across great looking cover pic, great looking profile pic and so forth. Plus for Facebook posting, so forth. Now this is my personal canva.com uh, account guys. All right, I have logged in already. You need to sign up and you will do it for the first time. You, it will ask you for signing up and so forth. Now over here, I have got options of selecting a social media, uh, you know, portrait or poster and so forth. If I have to create across a presentation, I can get across great good looking designs here or a poster or Facebook post. Image for a blog graphic, an A4 size or a card and so forth. I can click on to more. Now the moment I'm gonna click on to more, I'll get option for a Facebook cover pic also. We are starting with a Facebook cover pic. All right, I don't see any of these right up over here. And Facebook, Facebook cover pic. I think we should get something. It's Facebook event cover. All right, so here you can see the Facebook cover. As you can see for the Twitter, for LinkedIn and several others, the dimensions are over here. The best part about this tool is that you don't need the help of a designer. You don't have to approach a designer and let them know that, okay, this is what I'm looking at and uh, please create across a good looking design for me. You'll get quite many things on your own. You don't have to do a lot of editing, just normal editing is needed over here. So you, you're not supposed to be knowing across, you know, uh, Photoshop or Coral Draw, all those designing softwares, all right? You're not supposed to know all those. You can use across these free templates available on Facebook, okay, uh, on, onto Canva for Facebook and for several other places. Now, as you can see, there are several cover picks option over here. The one with the free tag are the ones which, uh, for which we don't need to pay across anything. Okay, I can select any one of those and do editing around those. The ones with the dollar sign, they're available across for a certain price. Certain price is somewhere close to like a dollar and so forth. That's also not that expensive. All right, that's also one time cost. So I can select any one of these and use them across for that. Let's... I'm using across this one. Okay, now I've got this option. I can go ahead and do changes to this. I can go ahead and do changes to this particular, uh, what do you say? Image which we have, which I have selected across, okay. So, you know, there was some text which was there earlier. I have gone ahead and deleted that. And I'm placing across something of my choice. I can go ahead and increase the size of the text and play around with it. All right, so I've got this uh, text of my choice, which I have mentioned over here. I can change across 
image. So this is a pretty easy one, right? I'm not going to spend more time. More time would be spent across on the Facebook uh, paid ads, which is pretty much a new thing. Okay. Now, similarly, I can go ahead and make changes to the image part. Also, I can go ahead and delete this and uh, get across a new image right up over here. So. All right, so I'm not getting the option of uploading across a particular image. This is strange. One second. On the right hand side, you're saying? The left hand side. Oh yes. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry about that. Right. Uh, so there used to be a pop up right over here. Now they have actually changed that. Right. So I can go ahead and so this is the layout elements. I can go ahead and put in across anything of my choice. I can upload it from here. All right. So I've got several images. I can which I've already put them across earlier. That's how I'm putting across an image of mine. All right, so I can go ahead and so there, there can be several things which can be done over here. I'm downloading this. It's in a PNG format or a JPEG format. It says recommended PNG. I'm going ahead and downloading this. There are many things which can be done. I can add in more text. I can change the color in several things. All right, so it's right up over here. All right, so I'm just uploading. I'm uploading across the same image which just created. Now the best part is I didn't have to really go ahead and uh, be bothered about you know the dimensions on automatically and how quick it was. The thing which I want you to uh, really bring to your notice that it was so quick. I, I didn't have to do much in terms of, you know, the designing aspect and so forth. I could do several things right up over here with so many options being available. Same as with the profile photograph, we can do multiple things over here. Add in a picture and let me just go ahead and upload across if I can find out any specific image.
All right. So the profile pic is up there and also the cover pic. Now it's asking to create across a short description, which is definitely needed. The way we started search engine optimization, that certain keywords which we choose across, we have to embed that across in several places of our web pages. Similarly, choose across at least two to three keywords for your Facebook page also. And optimize your Facebook page around those keywords. So let's say in my uh, entire page example, I have a keyword which I've decided, which I've chosen across and that is digital marketing coach, all right? And I'm using that. All right, I mean, I can go ahead and type in for furthermore things. So what I'm trying to tell you is that in your short description, you're being given across certain, uh, you know, limits of word which you have to uh, utilize in order to do the search engine optimization, the optimization, even Facebook pages do rank across. So I have made sure that my keyword digital marketing coach, all right, digital marketing coach, Nick Bartla is a regional trainer with Google and blah, 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 and I can type in several other things later on. I'm saving this across. And the description part is being done. Now it says username. Now username guys is basically the, uh, the page URL, the Facebook page URL. So I can go ahead and create this by clicking it right over here or maybe over here as well. Create a username. It's gonna be my page URL basically. So it's gonna be like facebook.com forward slash, let's say digital marketing coach. I just, all right, so it's not gonna take hyphen. So in Facebook URL, hyphen is not allowed, a dot is allowed. All right, so I'm typed in digital dot marketing dot coach and it says this is not available. I can type in dot Nick. All right, it says this one is available. I'm click, clicking on to create username and it's being done. Now what I can do is I can use this URL, which is facebook.com forward slash digital dot marketing dot coach dot Nick. I can use this across and paste it across onto my, uh, you know, visiting cards. That that is something which will help me to go ahead and promote across my, uh, with my website, along with my website, my Facebook page too. All right. So, or you, I can even uh, just type in fb.me instead of facebook.me. That's that's the other thing which I can do. So I can go ahead and. This is a shorter version. This is a shorter one version, basically. And that's the best one which one should go for. All right, it's the same page which opens up. I can like this page. Well, I already have a page of mine, okay? I'm just creating this for the purpose of giving you an explanation of how a page is to be created and what all things you can do that. I can share my page. This is my official page basically. And I, I'm gonna take help of this page also in order to talk more. See, they keep giving across tips on their own as well. I've got a username for this, I've got description and everything set up for this also. Plus it's telling me how is my page really performing in terms of the reach and so forth, okay? I've got various posts. All right, and I'll, I'll talk about the pin post functionality, the scheduling of posts and so forth. These are the various things which could be done. All right, I'm just moving back and with this new page, what you can see is there's an option of clicking on to add a button. This is called call to action. Now, whosoever will come onto my page 
well, do you want me do you want to receive across more phone calls to get more pages do you want to share across a photo or a video or what what is that end thing which you want people to do when they see your page well there could be only one thing as you can see in my official page i have given across a call to action as a contact us button the moment somebody will click on to contact us they will get across a form or maybe an email through which they can contact me now in this case i am clicking on to add a button and i don't want them to watch a uh, you know video on a website or watch a video on my page i am clicking on to choose another button all right there are several other things which could be done are you looking at uh, getting across bookings or are you looking at so you know there are connections with several other third party apps also like with uh, you know slice posh and these are several different you know several different uh, applications which are there through which uh, people can go ahead and book your uh, book your appointment and so forth well i don't need to really get in the depth of this you can select get in touch do you want people to call you to send a message to you to send an email to you what do you really want so let's say i want people to go ahead and click on to this button and straight away they'll give me a phone call so i'll just go ahead and mention across my phone number over here or i can just type in across my other number all right so it's just clicking on to add a button and it's been updated all right this has been updated guys now somebody will get to see my page and the moment he he or she will click on to call now the phone call will go straight away provided uh, that person is seeing my page on a mobile device on a mobile device only okay so that's another thing and now the other thing is it's saying is you can advertise your business you can get more phone calls get more messages create an event and several other things okay this is this uh, address which i have mentioned i can add in a website now these are pretty basic things i know uh, you might find you might feel that okay i'm telling you uh, quite a many things which are pretty easy well there would be a mix of uh, you know things which are new to you and things which uh, you find it easy and you 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 feel that you get actually see that when you while creating across a page of yours so just bear with me till the time i'm not done with the basics with the basics being done then we'll jump on to the paid section all right so it was asking me to point and promote across my website straight away by uh using across what do you say the paid advertisements and so forth and i i did just click on to not now maybe later on now uh the other thing which could be done is whatever friends i have i can invite all of them the way you invite across your friends is by clicking on to you know this option search all your friends you can invite all of them and so forth like this okay that this is one thing which can be done and i mean you can invite across all your friends like this plus there is another functionality to invite your friends or invite more people with the help of uh, email addresses if you have got some but there is a restriction in that you do use email addresses should have been procured by you on your website or some other platform it it sh- it has to be an opt in the way we uh understood the concept of opt in in the email marketing people who have given us the permission right who has given us their email addresses we cannot go ahead and send across invitation to anyone and everyone who sever email addresses we receive just like that or maybe procure across just like that so this is how you invite your friends now 
whatever status update you want, you can go ahead and punch and try it over here. Okay. And you can post it and you can even schedule it for later. How this scheduling part and all that stuff, stuff gets done. I use my different page for this so that it becomes easy. All right. So I'm just uh, training live on Facebook marketing paid and unpaid. I mean, this is just one thing which I'm typing across. Now, as you can see, this is what I'm typing across about what I'm doing right now. I can go ahead and absolutely edit, add more photographs or videos along with this. I can add, uh, you know, certain more things to it. Like, I mean, what I'm feeling and uh, any other thing which you want. Are you eating along with it, drinking along with it, or what, what exactly are you reading? What are you doing? Plus, you can check into a certain place also, right? What place are you in right now and so forth. And you can publish it right away, this status update, or you can go ahead and uh, schedule it for a future date or even post it across on a back date, some a date which has passed by. So I can schedule it across, let's say. So today it's, uh, what day it is? Is it 14th or 15th? This is 15th today, right? So on 15th, it says 3.37, it's 3.27 p.m. right now. So I can go ahead and schedule it across, let's say for 3.30, after 30 minutes, all right. So schedule posts need to be shared between 10 minutes, so at least 10 minutes, okay. So I can do it 37 then, or maybe 38, and I'm scheduling it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, automatically this will get scheduled. I can do several uh, scheduling. I can do scheduling for various different posts for as many days as I want, but the maximum is six months. All right. So that's the thing, guys, which we can do in terms of scheduling. All right. Now, the next thing, guys, is. The insights. I'm going on to my existing my existing page guys with my existing page if i talk about there are several posts which have been mentioned there have been several status updates on this on this page and all these status updates which are there all these status updates i actually keep posting across off from my blog and so forth you know things which I like about the digital marketing industry, I keep posting across on my page. Now, how much, how many people have seen this page? How much has been the interaction? I can get to see that by getting into the insights section. So insights is right up over here. Only the admins, people who are the admin for this page can get to see the insights. Or as you can see, whenever I've uploaded across something and there's some text, with the URL and a preview image also, which comes on its own. All right. So as you can see, this is watched by 62 people. The other one by 44 people were being reached. It's giving me all more you know, details about every single post. I can get across more uh, idea that which particular one has been seen the most So this one. It's 3,300 and 337 people actually saw this. All right, 53 this much. I'm going into the insights section and showing you the report of every single post in terms of how many people saw it and how many people actually engaged with it. Just give me a second. Excuse me. All right. So the moment I clicked on to insights, by default, it's giving me data for the last seven days. I can change it to last 28 days. I can export this data also. All right. Now from March 19th, 2017 to April 15th, this has been the overall uh, performance. Like how many likes, only five likes have been there. Okay. And it's showing page likes have gone down compared to previous 28 days. 
So there is a comparison of the last 28 days with the last to last 28 days, which is being shown over here. The page views have increased, actions on the page have increased. The reach has also increased in the last 28 days compared to the previous 28 days, basically. And video views have increased tremendously. And this is with regards to their five recent posts. How many people actually uh, got to see your post and how many out of those engaged? The definition of engage is likes, comments, or share. All right. Either a like or a comment or a share. They are being, excuse me, they're being treated across as a, they're being treated across as an engagement. So over here, what you can see, two people have engaged and two, uh, two people uh, posted across a click. A click has been posted and two people did some reaction, comments and share. So it's mentioned right up over here. The reach has been organic altogether. There's no paid one. As you can see, 192 people it reached out to organically without spending in any money. So why exactly we need this data? This data is again needed across to get us understand that what things have been working for us and what things didn't. In an unpaid fashion, if I'm able to reach out to people, good number of people, uh, you know, in the unpaid manner, well, there's nothing better than that. If you look at this particular video post, it reached to 284 people, which is uh, good in terms of the, uh, as, as compared to the other post. Even this one, this particular one reached out to 604 people and 584, people, 584 to this one and so forth. We can go ahead and uh, promote them with the paid part also by putting in extra money, by giving across money to Facebook and getting across more reach. And that option happens when we click on to boost post. When we click on to boost post, we'll be able to define to Facebook that who is my target audience, what sort of people I want to show across my, uh, you know, uh, this status update to and so forth. All right, so that's up to us. How do we really do that? Okay, so this is from the inside section. All right, so when I click on the published post, these are the posts again, this is the same data, there's nothing different over here. The post which I have scheduled for future, I can get to know that also. If I have scheduled something for future, I can create right up over here, all right? Anything being drafted, any post which is getting expired and so forth, all, all of that. I use across a great tool guys, which is called hootsuit.com. I use it for saving time on my social media uh, space, on my social media activities. How is that possible? So let's say if I have to manage across my Facebook page, I have to manage across my uh, you know, Twitter, I have to manage across maybe a couple of more, uh, maybe my LinkedIn, all of that I have to manage and I want all the three uh, social media accounts of mine to post, to post across the same thing. All I can do is I can go to hootsu.com, log in over there, add in all my uh, social media accounts, my Facebook account, my LinkedIn and my Twitter. I'll, when I'll be linking across all of them, I would be in a position to just do, just do one status update and automatically with one status update, it will go to all my three, social media accounts. As you can see my Facebook, LinkedIn and so forth have been connected. Whatever I'm gonna compose over here and add in, I can even schedule it for future, all right? Whatever I'm gonna schedule, it will go automatically on that particular day and time for which I'm scheduling and on all the social media platforms which I'm gonna choose across. All right, 
even the Facebook advertisement and so forth can also be connected over here. But this is one way through which you can go ahead and manage all your uh, major social media accounts, right? In the most effective fashion. Hope that helps. This is the paid, this is the unpaid element. Now the other thing which I want to talk about the unpaid guys, the message section is there, insights are there and so forth. Another thing is that you can go ahead and give across access of your page to anyone else as a non admin. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to click on the settings section and then underneath the settings, all these options, when they're coming in, just click on the page roles. Now there's several things which are visible right over here. I'm telling you the most important ones. Now this is my page. I can assign a assign across uh, my page as an admin to someone else, assign a new page role. All right. So as you can see, I've got two, three people who are actually taking care of my page. Uh, if I want to give across access of my page as an admin or a sub admin and so forth. So admin editor, admin is the one who has got the maximum rights. All right. Editor has got a bit lesser than as compared to the admin. And as we keep moving further down the overall power also keeps getting diminished from the topmost role to the role underneath each and every. Okay. So it's always recommended to go ahead and give across uh, any role, but not the admin one. The admin role should be there with you. The ed editor role, you can give it across to anyone who is handling your Facebook account in place of you. Let's say you've hired across an agency and the agency is doing, up, doing the work for you. So it's not good to go ahead and give across your own username and password rather to ask them for their own Facebook username and give across the access to their Facebook username and make sure that you don't give across the main admin access. All right. Because maybe in future you want to get across the access back. You being the primary admin, you can kick off the other people whenever or, or whenever you really wish to. Okay, any questions, any doubts you have, you can type in across uh, guys in the chat window. The messaging section helps you to look at the various different messages which people are setting up, sending across. We want auto response, you know, uh, auto responding and so forth. All that can be uh, created across. Okay, and there are fair furthermore other things which you can do. So you can look into this. Now, the other major important thing which I want you to also let you know is about the pinning content on the top. What usually happens is if today I have posted across a status update and then in the evening, there's one more status update than tomorrow morning and then day after what will happen. The most recent status update will always there be on the top. And as the status updates keep getting older, they'll, they'll keep moving further down on the page. The maximum visibility is always, there with the status update, which is on the top. So let's say a particular post, which has been posted by you long way back, but you still want it to be on the top. Despite of the fact that it was being posted long, long way back and it will go further down in the timeline in the entire page, you still want it to be on the top. What you can do is you can go to that status update. So let's say this one, I have actually posted on July 11th, 2016, but there have been so many status updates. So as you can see only five hours back, there was a status update. So this one is coming underneath. This one is coming underneath that particular status update, which has been posted long way back. So despite of this status update being old, it's there on the top because I have gone ahead and pinned this content pinned P, right? As you can see, the pin is right up over here. I pinned the content onto the top of the page. I can go ahead and un unpin or unpin it also, but I've uh, got this pin functionality. What is happening? I wanted this. I mean, this is just an example. I made this come across on the top. So the, as the time passes by the content of the status update content, which is there on your Facebook page, it keeps getting older and keeps moving down as per the date and the time and so forth. All right. So as you can see the April 12th one, and then after that, the one on April 8th, all right, April 8th and so forth. 
April 6th. This is all right up over here. April 6th, April 5th. So this is all in descending order, April 4th and so forth. Make sense? So this is just simple stuff with regards to promotion of a page on to uh, promotion of a product or a brand to the unpaid way onto Facebook by creating a page and uh, doing several things onto it. Uh, we will we'll talk about the paid way by creating across Facebook ads. You usually get to see the Facebook ads on the right hand side of the page uh, on the on the right hand side of Facebook and what all things really goes underneath that creation of the ad and how do you really target them across so that on the right side of people only sees your ad. We will we'll see that uh, after this on me all right so this is overall the unpaid what we can do is we can go for a break right now and then after the break we can start with the paid section guys let me know if in case you have any questions any doubts any clarifications if you need it are we all good so far chitanya goresh shivani are you good let me know please in the chat window all right, thanks, Koresh, for acknowledging and replying in the chat window. Shivani and Chitanya, is it clear up till now? This was the most easiest thing, right? All right, perfect. Thanks, Shivani. And how about you, Chitanya? Are you good? Are you okay? All right, so. Uh, I'm assuming he's, he's not around and so forth. So we'll take a 20 minutes break, all right? And we'll take a 20 minutes break and after the break, then we'll start with the paid section, right? Creating across the paid ads. Makes sense, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mute myself and uh, then we'll start. So I'm so sorry, I've got, a, uh, I've got trouble with my throat, so that's why I'm, my voice might not be that clear, which it is in the other sessions in the previous session so just bear with me for that please i'll just go ahead and uh, mute myself and then we we'll meet after the break okay.
Uh, all right, guys, I'm just, uh, I'm back. Uh, can you guys hear me? Just trying to check. Are you guys able to hear me? All right, thanks for acknowledging. Just wanted to check, uh, Gaurish Shivani, can we actually take this tomorrow? I'm having a hard time speaking because of my throat trouble. 2.30 p.m. same time tomorrow, uh, we're gonna start with the Facebook page part. All right, so this time, thanks so much for uh, understanding. We will be meeting across tomorrow, same time, and do practice across this part. And Shivani, if in case you want to join in another session, which of another batch, you can do that tomorrow, 10, 10 a.m. I have sent you a request for that also. I've sent you the link for joining in that session as well. It's going to start at 10 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. So today also we had a session at 10 a.m. I'll ask Nitin to share across the recording for uh, today's 10 a.m. morning session also with you. And tomorrow, if in case you want to join in, uh, Shivani, you, you can do that. Perfect. All right. So we'll meet tomorrow, same time, and uh, we'll take it further from there. And Shivani, if in case you want to join in both 10 a.m. and 2.30 p.m., both the sessions, you can join in, whichever one you feel like. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you.